Hey, welcome back, Intermediate Algebra. So this next one is called Quadratic Word Problems, Standard Form here. Um, and I got to tell you, I, I, as I did these, I never even read these two sentences. That didn't even dawn on me to read those two um, because I didn't need to, okay? What they give you is they give you a quadratic equation in standard form, and they ask you a question. You have to just think through this. How many seconds after being thrown will the stone hit the water? Well, if you think about water, water is generally at an elevation of zero okay so if it's at an elevation of zero they're looking for an x intercept so basically what they're asking us to do is find out what are the two x intercepts for this and so we can find out when that stone hit the water in order to find the x intercepts we're going to want to go to factored form on this so the first thing i want to do to get factored form is i'm going to take a negative five out of every term so i'm going to take out negative five which gives me a positive x squared a negative 2x and a negative 3. I then need to think about what are two numbers that uh, add up to negative 2x but multiply to negative 3. And you might go, well, that could be negative 3 and positive 1. And you'd be correct. So I factored those out. I've got x minus 3, x plus 1. And then we know to find the actual x-intercepts, we need to do the zero property product for both of those. And when I do that zero property product on those, I get x equals 3 and x equals negative 1. That means that the stone could hit the water 3 seconds from now, or it could hit the water 1 second to go. Well, that doesn't make sense. You can't go backwards in time and have the water hit the, have the stone hit the water a second ago if you're throwing it now. So in this case, there's only one answer that actually makes sense, so we will eliminate this one, and our answer for this one is just simply 3 seconds from now that stone will hit the water, okay? Let's do one more. On this one down here, again, I don't even read the top two up here. I just start right down here. Here's my quadratic equation, and then I read the question in the bold. What is the maximum height the hovercraft will reach? Well, if we're talking about the maximum height, we must be talking about the y-coordinate of the vertex. So we need to get this into vertex form and just find that y-coordinate of this. So, to get in vertex form, I'm going to, first, what do these two have in common? They have a negative 2 in common, so I'm going to factor out the negative 2 in front, and then I'm going to do, if I take away a negative 2 from the 20, you might know that I have negative 10 left. So, to get into vertex form, what is half of negative 10? At which point you should be saying, well, it would be negative 5. So, yeah, you're correct. We took out the negative 2 from both of them, Half of the negative 10 that was left over is negative 5, so that goes on the inside of our vertex form. Okay, now we've got to figure out what this number right here will equal. Okay, so let's see, negative 5 squared, negative 5 times negative 5 is positive 25. Positive 25 times negative 2 is negative 50. So by doing what we just did here, we legitimately added a negative 50. Well, we don't want to add negative 50. We don't want to add anything. So what could cancel out a negative 50? And that would be a positive 50. So since we've already added negative 50, we need to add a positive 50 to this number right here, 48. And 48 plus 50 is 98. So that means our stone will reach a, or our hovercraft will reach a maximum height of 98. Not too difficult. You just got to realize what is it they're asking for and then find that. Sometimes you're going to go to factored form for it. Sometimes you want to go to vertex form to find that, um, whatever you need to do to find those. That's all I got, guys. Bye-bye.